Hi moms and dads, Dr. Nicole here with another family friendly tech tip. Have you heard the term media multitasking? It basically means that we're using multiple devices at the same time, multitasking with media or devices. So an example would be a child who is sitting and using their uh, laptop for homework while they've got the TV on in the background and have their smartphone sitting next to them to receive text messages. That would be one example of media multitasking. This actually goes on more often than we realize, both for ourselves and our children. Here's why it's a problem. The research shows that we actually are not good at multitasking, whether it's with devices or not. As humans, we tend to like to think that we're good at dividing our attention and focusing on several things at once, but the reality is that we're actually quite bad at it. And the more that we try to divide our attention, the worse our performance on tasks, the longer it takes for us to get them done. And the same is true for use of digital devices. Studies have shown that it actually takes us longer to complete tasks the more our attention is divided among multiple devices, apps, things like that. So the length of time to finish something is one of the problems with uh, media multitasking. But another issue is that it really encourages the brain to be in a distracted state a significant amount of the time, trains the brain away from being focused and into a more unfocused state where we're constantly paying a little bit of attention to lots of things, which is not good, particularly when we're talking about our children and their developing brains. We want to train their brains towards being more focused. We also see that media multitasking leads to more impulsivity and distracted stability over time, which is definitely not something we want for our kids. And there are studies that have shown an increased risk of depression when kids are using multi, uh, doing multitasking with uh, media and electronic devices. So that's another concern. And we know that our comprehension of what we're reading or the thing that we're working on, particularly if we're talking about kids and homework assignments or school-related tasks, comprehension is worse and retention of the information or our ability to hold things in our memory is worse. And those are definitely not things that we wanna have happening for ourselves or our kids. So media multitasking has a lot of problems that come along with it. And the way that we solve this is to get away from the multitasking and focus on using just one device at a time. So that means if we are reading something um, online on our tablet, we're modeling for our kids not also having lots of other things going on on our smartphone, on our computer, on the TV at the same time. It means if our child is using a device for homework, for example, that their smartphone is put away, the TV is turned off, there aren't other devices competing for their attention. One device at a time is the rule, and that really resolves all of these issues that come up with the media multitasking. So I encourage you to have a conversation with your kids and with your family about this. Work on holding each other accountable to this. Let them know that you want them to speak up if and when they see you engaging in multitasking with devices and for you to do the same for them so that you all can move towards healthier and more focused use of your devices and ultimately all I'll be more productive. I hope this tip has been helpful. I'll be back next time with more family-friendly tech tips.